just um, letting it go down. I wasn't really thinking of it, and I'm kind of a laid back person, so I was just kind of letting it pass, and it wouldn't go down. And um, I kind of just knew. They brought my husband and I in, and now it's even a different radiologist, so it's even a different person that you haven't even seen before that walks in and tells you, you have breast cancer, it's in your lymphatic system, it's very aggressive, it's moving very fast, and you don't have time to shop around. You need to make a decision of a doctor you want to go to by tomorrow. Most of the young women that I see in my practice are balancing work, children, family life, as well as getting their treatment. And the challenge of me thinking that cancer is going to take away my motherhood, I still can make those decisions, that I can let people help, that I can still decide how they can help. And that's the thing I had to figure out. Then they're dealing with body image issues, hair loss, change in their hormones and all the you know, side effects of, of early menopause or their menstruation stopping during chemotherapy, hot flashes, and all kinds of symptoms that their peers are not experiencing. And people, are, people look, just like, it's like when someone looks at a pregnant woman, the same way when they look at a cancer patient, they don't, they're not looking at all the little vanity things that we think about. They're looking at the beauty of what's happening in that person. And I feel that right now and I see that. And that right there is he, he sees beauty differently and he'll be a different man one day for it. And my girls will be different girls for it. And if that is what breast cancer gave my family, then like, thank you, you know.